Food fortification is an essential tool in the fight against malnutrition. Food fortification is the addition of vitamins and minerals, also known as micronutrients, to widely consumed foods to increase their nutritional quality. Many foods can be fortified, for example, maize and wheat flour, dairy products and rice, as well as cooking oil and condiments like salt and sugar. Food fortification is often treated like a footnote, with an asterisk. It doesn't draw a lot of attention to itself, but now is the time for food fortification to move to the title page. Food fortification has been around for over 100 years. Today, 160 countries implement national salt iodization programs, 90 countries mandate at least one kind of cereal grain fortification, and over 30 mandate the fortification of cooking oil, margarine, or ghee. Food fortification strengthens the immune system, helps to prevent sickness and death, and increases the productivity of people and nations. It can help to eliminate micronutrient deficiencies which cause many health problems, including rickets, birth defects, goiter, blindness, brain damage, and immune system failure. It combats the effect of climate change, as rising carbon dioxide levels make staples like wheat and rice less nutritious. Food fortification benefits people all over the world, rich and poor, rural and urban, in developing and developed countries. Fortified foods are not a substitute for a healthy diet. They are part of one. Over a third of the world's people cannot afford a diet that provides the nutrients required for a healthy life. Fortification is a low-cost way to improve the diets of large numbers of people. Very small amounts of vitamins and minerals are added, enough to provide the nutritional boost, but never so much that anyone has to be concerned about consuming too much. Fortified foods are intended to be consumed every day by all sorts of people. Fortified foods can be found in nearly every country around the world, but the journey to a fortified future is far from finished. Over 80 countries could benefit from new fortification programs. Most existing programs need to be strengthened to reach more people with more nutritious food. To get the job done, we will need to mandate, monitor, and mobilize. Everyone has a role to play. Governments can mandate fortification of widely consumed foods and condiments by food producers. Food producers and governments can monitor quality and compliance to enforce the mandate and ensure that fortified foods are available to everyone. Everyone can mobilize support for fortification. Development actors like the UN, international donors, non-government organizations and academia can mobilize efforts to build technical know-how and capacity. Consumers and civil society can mobilize to hold governments and food producers accountable for their responsibilities. Food fortification is a no-regrets investment. It is affordable, it can reach billions of people, it complements other efforts to fight malnutrition, it requires no change to people's behavior. Every one dollar invested in fortification generates $27 on average in economic return through increased health and productivity. Join the movement www.futurefortified.org Fortify the future.